My village, Zenabad, is at the entrance to the desert. I am the village chief. My name is Danya. My ethnic group is the Al. Karma? For six months a year, we travel through the desert and its surrounding areas in search of food for our herds. We only return to the village for events concerning marriage. Our children are married by the village chief between the ages of six months and five years. In memory of Princess Nira, we never marry outside our own people. My daughter Maddie is 15. She will go to live with the family of her husband. First, however, tradition requires me, the father, to go to the middle of the desert and pray to the goddess Nira, asking her to protect the young couple. My friend Lugnat is chief of the neighboring village. He is coming with me on my pilgrimage to the sacred lake of Bamke, where the princess took refuge centuries ago. The men of the village insist that I participate in the baton dance, which they perform to celebrate our departure. Originally, it was a martial art. Before leaving, the women serve us the traditional chai, a lightly peppered tea with milk, which we share together to celebrate this important event in the life of our community. <laughs> this time, Madi, it's I who must go. But soon you will be leaving us to live with your new family. Goodbye, Father. <laughs> You're happy, aren't you? It's early September and the arrival of flamingos over our villages give us the signal to leave. This journey to Lake Bamke cannot be made any time of the year. For six months, the Kutch Desert is impossible to cross because it is flooded with the monsoon rains. At the end of August, it dries and small lakes are formed, like Lake Bamke. Flamingos migrate to the run or desert of the Kutch by the hundreds of thousands to mate. It is the only such area in India. You know, Lugnat, this is the last time we will take this journey together. Madi is my last daughter. Afterwards, it will be the turn of our sons to smoke together, face to face, in the desert night. Sir. Dromedaries require a lot of care. They can do without water, but not without food. Trips into the desert must be short. 
What's more, in the run, it is so humid at night, wounds become infected very quickly. My dromedary is hurt. I must put an antiseptic powder on him. Otherwise, he will find the saddle unbearable. Our beds go with us wherever we travel. It is a Rabari tradition linked to our nomadic life. They are made of carved acacia wood and braided rope fiber. At the edge of the desert, we often meet other Rabaris of the Kutchi ethnic group. The men wear white, and the women, once they are married, wear black in mourning for the king Rajput, who sacrificed his life to save them. Like us, they too live off the wool produced by their herds and feed themselves with the milk of their lambs, which the women curdle. When we travel, the women go first to set up our next camp on the edge of the desert, while we, the men, look after the grazing of our herds. Now we enter the real desert, where there are no more sprouts or acacias. The journey is long and difficult, the ride exhausting, the heat oppressive. For the dromedaries, it's paradise. There are no more painful acacia thorns ready to dig into their hooves. Tanya, why don't you give me a hand instead of just okay, looking at me? The 
Last monsoon storms erupt over Zenabad as the women watch over the weaving of the shakla, a fabric that the young bride's mother and aunts embroider for her trousseau. They began a long time ago. <laughs> they put mirrors inside to chase away the evil eye and to bring water to our drought-ridden country. There is no life here except for the onager or wild donkey. We call him the Kur. He is a distant cousin of the zebra. Some say that he can only be found in the Kutch. Tonight we will be at the lake. I'm very anxious to get there. For Lugnat, the journey ends here. I continue on alone. Lake Bamke in the middle of the desert is a sanctuary, and one must have a reason to go there. Oh, great Princess Nira, bless the union of Madi, my daughter, and Hardas. Protect them and their descendants. Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevai. Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevai. From September to November, the lake becomes an immense nest. The flamingos come here to reproduce because the desert and the lake are difficult to cross and so they are sheltered from predators. Since flamingos raise only one youngster, they give it great care and protection.
Flamingos are model parents, and for the Rabaris, their feathers symbolize the protection newborns must be given. That is why I take them to my wife Sandak. She will sew them on the shakla, so that the union between Madi and Hardas may be blessed with happiness and many descendants. I think it is almost time for Madi to leave me. I find it hard to accept. The weaving of the shakla is finished. Madi watches, but she does not take part. It is a gift from the married women to the new member of their ranks, who is leaving her young girl status behind. My pilgrimage is over, and I am happy to see my village once again. For us, his arrival is always a celebration. We consider the snake charmer a holy person because the snake is a divine animal who participated in the creation of the world. He goes from one village to another, doing tricks and amusing the children. <laughs> Every year at the same time we celebrate the feast of Navrati, which lasts for nine days and nine nights. We all gather together with chiefs from other villages at a Rabari temple in the middle of a field to pray to Amba, the earth mother goddess of all living creatures. Hardas goes with the women who dance and sing. He is impatient. He knows that at the end of the feast of Navrati, he will leave and take Madi into his family. At night, we all share in the feast. I ask Amba to protect the flamingos and bless the union of my daughter.
Sandak sows the downy feathers from the sacred lake on the Shakla, above the flamingo which symbolizes Princess Nira. Tomorrow I will go to the temple with the children to explain to them the symbolism of the Shakla and to bestow it on them. Madi, the Shakla will protect your union. You see, that is the dromedary, the symbol of strength. There is the tree, symbolizing fertility. And there, in the center, the flamingo, representing paradise, love, and the protection of your future children. May the Princess Nira protect and favor you. We the Rabari do not think a girl belongs to her father. She is only entrusted to him by God until her marriage, so that the wheel of life may continue to turn. Ah uh -huh. 